this video you are seeing here is the rumored frame for the DJI Mini 3 which is supposed to come out uh, soon now there are rumors and this is an official but there are rumors that DJI is planning to launch the DJI Mini 3 around May now for those of you who may know the DJI Mini 3 is going to be the successor of the DJI Mini 2 which was a game changer and this is because the DJI Mini 2 was the first drone you know uh, to be under the weight limit of 250 grams and what this meant was that a lot of creators around the world you know did have uh, to go through the hassle of uh, dealing with uh, drone regulations you know uh, because of the weight of the drone now in most parts of the world any drone that is above uh, 250 grams and higher you are subject to crazy drone regulations you have to register it and you have to you know go through pilot training and you have to pay a hefty amount of money just for you to fly your drone but with the DJI Mini 2 it being under 250 grams it was deemed just as a private drone and then you know you didn't have to go through all these crazy procedures and of course it came with 4k video and it came with uh, you know jpeg and raw uh, 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 you know uh, photos and as well as you know just the compact size that it had the dji mini 2 being as it was an amazing drone and still is an amazing drone uh it has a few drawbacks that i'm hoping that the dji mini 3 or dji mini 3 pro as it is rumored to be named will address so for instance uh the dji mini 2 doesn't have you know the active track you know if you're filming yourself whether you're on a bike or you're in a car or you're in a boat it won't follow you so that is a drawback because you miss out on the opportunity of having you know to ride your bike or ride your boat like that and have the drone go wherever you're going but don't get me wrong this is an amazing drone i've been flying it myself for like six months now and you know because it shoots 4k video i've shot videos for my client and even for myself for this youtube channel um it is really like it was really a game changer now the dji mini 3 is coming out and it is rumored that the dji mini 3 is going to address the three most important things that were missing in the dji mini 2 so for instance the dji mini 3 is gonna come with three obstacle avoidance sensors that means that it's gonna come with you know an obstacle avoidance sensor at the front on the other side as well as on the other side now the thing the dji mini 2 only has sensors at the bottom and that mean that meant that if you were going to fly it safely you had to fly it above the tree line or above the tallest building where you're flying it a lot of times you really had to keep an eye on a drone and see where it is flying but with the dji mini 3 with the sensor that it's gonna come with it's gonna be a nice thing to be able to fly it and having not to worry about it crashing into any obstacles number two the dji mini 2 is going to have the ocusign 3.0 now if you have been flying the dji mini 2 you should be aware that sometimes when you fly it uh, like at a distance you kind of uh, like lose uh, like the signal the transmission signal on your phone but with the dji mini 3 it means that you can fly it for a long distance and still have you know very good uh, um, view of of what the camera is seeing so that is something that uh, DJI is a rumored to address in the DJI Mini 3. Number three, the DJI Mini 3 is rumored to come with a much bigger camera and uh, this means that it might even be able to shoot video at 60 frames per second. Now what this means is that you can be able to shoot that and get some really nice slow motion video that you can slow down to 30 frames per second in your project. This would be really be nice as it shoots in 4K you know just having that addition of 60 frames per second might really be a nice touch and also it is rumored that this drone the dji mini 3 pro as they are calling it is going to come um the the controller is going to come with its own screen that means that you don't have to use your phone anymore like um, i've been doing myself on the dji mini 2 that is just you know some of the amazing things that it might come with now it is rumored that this drone is gonna come with um much longer flight time and personally i'm hoping that 
it can also you know um charge the batteries a bit quicker because on the dji mini 2 it takes a bit of time to charge all the batteries i bought the uh five more combo and you know i have like three batteries on it and just just to fill up juice up all the batteries it takes a bit of time so i'm hoping that the dji mini 3 can address that and have quicker charging time uh so that you know you can easily charge even in between your shoots you can charge quickly and uh, have a longer shooting time now these images and this video is a rumored frame for the dji mini 3 like i said earlier and i'm just hoping that um uh, um it is as compact as the dji mini 2 and one of the things that i'm looking forward to is how the engineers are going to pack all these features like the sensors and the bigger camera and still keep the drone below 250 grams well there you have it dji is going to ship this very uh, soon to uh, uh influencers and creators and uh, like i said they're hoping to release it somewhere in may my name is hope mukunte this is hope tv thanks for watching